I mean, last game of the season. I mean, mm. he's been up playing, but I mean, what do you hope to see from the boys? Um, first of all, just a good effort. Um, you know, we, we speak all the time about the effort being there week in, week out. Um, you know, in the last, last two weeks haven't been so great. Um, and that's just been our focus this week, of making sure that, you know, we're doing everything on the training track we can um, to give ourselves the best opportunity of winning, uh, make sure the effort's there from the start. Um, and we changed a few drills up as well. We knew there was a few things that uh, we haven't done so well over the last couple of weeks and um, hopefully, yeah, a better performance. Is that quite disappointing that the last game against Collingwood, you mm -hmm. seem uh, to be improving a, a bit. Did that kind of uh, deal ra derail the side? Yeah, I think so. Um, look, you know, we're not going to use injuries as an excuse. Obviously, we've got a lot of guys out at the moment, but, um, you know, for, for the guys that, that are getting a game and the younger guys that are running through the midfield, we know that we need effort from all 22 guys uh, that are playing, and, and that hasn't been there the, been there the last couple of weeks, and uh, we need to make sure that we finish the season off well, um, you know, to give the group confidence going into next pre-season. What do you think the best things have been uh, coming out of this season, Gary? Um, <clears throat> some of the guys that have been given games. Um, you know, if we didn't have the amount of injuries that we've had, well, those, those guys probably wouldn't have got that opportunity to, to spend the, the amount of time they have through the midfield. Um, and, you know, I think we've, we've just learned a lot about a group. Um, you know, I think, you know, it's obviously been, been a really tough couple of years and, um, you know, we, we've stuck together as a group, we've stayed united and, and no doubt that, uh, you know, that's, that's going to help us leading into next year. That the, the guys have been through that, they've experienced that. Um, and, you know, I, this week is important though. It is important. We need to finish the season strongly. Um, and I've, uh, I've been out in the track, watched the way the boys have trained. They've been fantastic, and, and I think we'll, better, we'll put in a better form, performance than we have the last couple of weeks. Oh, yeah, sure, my bad. Obviously, you say that's a united group, and obviously you've lost a pretty important member just in the last 24 hours. And the club's been pretty obvious that they're very disappointed in losing Jager. Yeah, look, I've I got no comment on that. You know, I think the club's come out over the last couple of days and said what they want to say. Um, you know, we're focused on this week and, and, and making sure that, you know, we, we finish the season off well and, and we'll sit down as a group over the next couple of work, uh, weeks and work out what the next step's going to be. He is a talent, though. To lose that talent is, is disappointing. Surely, you know, I know... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they've made it pretty clear that, you know, they're, they're not going to be treated like this by other players in the future. Do you, do you like the way they've, you know, they've stood up to this situation? Yeah, I, I think... You know, Tony Cochran and, and, and um, Rocket have been pretty strong, um, you know, in, the, in their presses. And, and uh, re that's really all I've got to say about it. Um, you know, we're focused on this week. Um, and as I said, we'll sit down as a leadership group, um, you know, and as a football club over the next couple of weeks and, and work out what the next step's going to be. How was it in the, the change rooms when he was telling the boys? Um, he was pretty emotional. But, um, you know, as you'd expect, you know, he's been here for five years. Um, but, yeah, that's... That's really all I can say about that. Yeah. And just, uh, you came from Geelong and you kind of understand that it mm. is professional business and mm -hmm. it can be pretty cutthroat sometimes. Mm -hmm. can, yep. you, can you understand the situation that he's in? And I guess, yeah. it, how, how tough was it kind of making that transition yourself? Yeah, I, I won't come on, come in on that today. Um, you know, I'm sure that um, over the next couple of weeks, uh, the leadership group, the coach, will all have something to say, but we need to sit down and, and work out what the next step's going to be. And, um, the, the midfielders that you have at the moment, obviously guys like Aaron Hall, too, Camilo, they've mm -hmm. all stepped up. Do you, do you need a couple more to step up? And how do you, how's it faring? They've been fantastic. Um, you know, Tuki Miller's been a standout. Um, you know, in the absence of some of our more senior guys, uh, you know, I think he's done a fantastic job. Aaron as well, you know, started the season off really well. And, um, you know, I think just the experience they've been able to have through the midfield, um, you know, as I said before, I don't think they probably would have got those opportunities if we'd had a full side in. Um, you know, so they're going to be better for the experience and, and hopefully, you know, going into next season, we've got a lot of depth and a lot of guys that can rotate through there. Mm -hmm. Gary, you were meant to interview some Suns fans today about the last home game of the season. It was going to be a positive story, but they cancelled on us because they're so upset about Jay Grodner leaving. Oh, uh, really? understand why fans, <coughs> they're so upset when they're online, they're pulling their hearts out of us mm. leaving. Yeah, no, no, it's, look, it, it's, been, it's been a tough five or six years. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, we've... We've been pretty honest in saying that we probably expected to play finals football by now, um, and that's not the case. And you know, our fans have been fantastic. They get along every week. They support us, win or lose. And um, you know, we need to make sure that um, you know we continue to do everything we possibly can to give ourselves the best opportunity of winning. And um, I'm confident with the list we've got. You know, we have a good pre-season, and and uh, we get some guys back from injury that um, we're good enough to play finals football.
um, you know, it's, uh, I'm only getting older, um, you know, the legs aren't getting any younger and, um, you know, I want to play in finals football. I want, I want to be out there in September, that's what it's about, that's why, that's why we play the game. Um, so, yeah, for the fans, uh, know that we'll be doing everything we possibly can to make sure that we, uh, we have a really good year next year. Is the, the state of the, the spine of the group going from the, the key defenders like the, the Mays through the midfield like yourself and then Tommy Lynch at the front, does, is, that, is that what helps give you confidence, seeing that spine there? Yeah, w without a doubt. Um, as I mentioned, I, you know, I believe we've got a very good list. We do. Um, you know, there's, um, there's some areas that, that we really need to improve. Obviously, there's been you know, the talk over the last 12 months about the leadership and, and how much um, you know, all of us have grown in that area. Um, and, and the other area is just making sure that we're implementing the right drills into training. We're training the right way. Um, you know, I mentioned a couple of weeks back on the footy show that um, I believe from the start we probably weren't um, probably weren't doing tra well, training the right drills. Um, but I believe that Rocket's got here; he sees the game very well, um, and, and we're doing the right right things now. And it's going to it's going to take a little bit of time for the boys to develop. Um, but if you, you you know you look at GWS, they started a year started a year after us, um, and they're. They're in front of us at the moment, but um, I'm confident that we can bounce back next year, have a good season, as I said, play some finals footy. How's your shoulder tracking? It's feeling good, feeling good. I'm, I'm in and out of the sling at the moment. Um, you know, I probably made a mistake last time of keeping in the sling too long. Um, you know, got a frozen shoulder and that set me back a little bit. So we made the decision this time to take it out after three or four weeks. Um, and so I'm in and out of it, slowly getting the range back. Next step will be to strengthen it back up and, and hopefully I'm running about the seven, eight week mark. How did you come to the decision whether to do the, the same surgery you got last time and then to, to do this different one this time? Yeah, I, I didn't really have a choice this time, to be honest with you. Um, you know, once you've had a couple of dislocations, um, most of the time they'll go with a Latigé procedure. Um, it just makes your shoulder, you know, a lot stronger. And, and I want to make sure that, you know, going to next season that I'm confident in it. Um, you know, my, my style of game is, is contested ball, you know, style. And, and I want to make sure that... Um, you know, when I'm back out there, I'm not, I'm not hesitant and, and um, I'm confident after this procedure that it'll be, it'll be a lot stronger and um, I can get back to playing the type of footy I know I can play. A few guys in the game have spoken about you potentially make, making the shift to, to uh, small forward, I guess, yep. like a lot of players do, the back end of their careers. What yep. do you think about that and is it something you've you thought about? Yeah, it's not something that I've thought about too much. Um, you know, obviously I'll sit down with Rocket going into next pre-season and, and work out where he thinks um, or what position, um, you know, best best suits me and, and the team and um, you know if he thinks that it's down forward well then I, I started my career down forward um, you know I enjoyed, enjoyed playing that forward pocket half forward role um, you know as a junior and um, but yeah it's not something I've thought about too much we'll, we'll just see what happens I, I still feel like um, you know I've got plenty of good football left in me um, so hopefully I can still get up into the midfield and help these younger boys out. Tell us what we're doing here today with the UFC stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we've uh, we've come down, uh, Aaron Hall and myself, uh, and met Mark Hunt, um, which which has been a lot of fun. Um, we've showed him how to kick a football. Um, he said he's never been along to a game before, so he's gonna gonna experience that for the first time on Saturday. And um, he's also uh, down here launching um, the new movie that, that he's gonna be in. Um, and part of that they'll be filming on the Gold Coast. So that's uh, that's pretty exciting. And um, yeah, it was re really really great to meet him. After yeah, watch out. I've got a very small part in it. I think I'm, uh, I'm in a scene for about five seconds, so uh, just building up, mate. How old are you going to be in the ring? In the ring? I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. Um, but yeah, it's, um, you know, as I said, it's, uh, it's really exciting for the guys and, and great that they can be filming part of the movie on the coast. And uh, as and I, looking forward to getting down and being part of it. Is he going to show you any moves that you can use on the field? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I think if I used his moves, I uh, wouldn't be playing too many games. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. No final words. Um, look, I'm, I'm. You know, obviously, it's it's a final game this week. Um, you know, once uh, once we've got that out of the way, then then as I said, we'll sit down as a leadership group. We'll talk to Dan as well. Um, work out what the next step is for Dion, for, for Jager um, and for our football club. Um, so.